How's it going, folks? So I had a band reach out to me. The name of this band is Terminal Dusk, and they asked if I would check out this song, Everdark. Now, they just released their, a new EP, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. It's their debut EP called Marionette, and they're supposed to be like a symphonic metal band and all that good stuff. And So, yeah, I mean, they reached out to me, and I was like, absolutely, I would love to uh, check out a song uh, by you good folks over there. So... That's where I am now. I, you know, I haven't heard any of the other songs or anything like that. You know, this is first time listening to this band, and I'm super excited. So let's give this bad boy a listen and see what we got here, shall we? Rangers, go.
I'm quite impressed. Quite impressed here. Yeah, that that whole intro was so sick. Like it sounded like with the orchestrals, like some kind of Star Wars thing almost. It just sounded evil, you know. It, but like sick and epic. And that guitar comes in there. Jeez. Oh, I mean, I love the heaviness of the guitars in this song. I mean, they're slamming. I mean, it's, like you're getting bashed repeatedly in the face with these guitar riffs in here. I mean, that the sound, it's so deep and, and heavy and reverberating. It's sick. It, like, I couldn't help but just get so into it. Like, I just wanted to start grabbing stuff around the room and just slamming it on the ground or just breaking junk. Um, I, I don't know. Maybe I have a problem, but... <laughs> The, the, the guitars were just so, so sick. I mean, just the, the heaviness is awesome, and it sounded really good, too. So the recording quality and, and the mixing and all that uh, and mastering of, especially in particular, the guitars, because they're so heavy, but they sound so good. Uh, and then you couple that with the, the symphonic elements. Bum, 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 da, bum, 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 bum. It just, epic. Epic. I, that that was the the best part of the song for me. Um, I feel like that's like the most memorable aspect of the song because the, the song as a whole isn't bad. Like it, it's a solid song, and there's this band has a lot of potential. If this really is like from their debut EP uh, recently, uh, if it's their debut, you know, material. I mean. They, they really have a lot of talent here, you know, and I think it's a sound a lot of people are going to resonate with, you know, so I, I feel like the future is bright for these folks, um, a lot of talent, so yeah, I love the guitars, obviously, the, the drums, oh, and when they came in, like, with the, the double kicks and it, it just driving force, you know, it just really great so the the use of the orchestral symphonic elements weren't overdone they were used very very well to really kind of hammer home you know certain sections to really emphasize certain moments and really bring a little extra oomph to it instead of kind of having symphonic elements all the way through they, they really kind of highlight certain spots and you know I always like when care is given and, and to when and where to use the, the symphonic elements or anything, you know, to, to not overdo it. So that was really well done. The drums were sick. And like I said, I mean, the guitar work was just stellar. I really like the vocals, too. She has a really nice voice. Um, and, and being able to kind of sing over this cacophonous, heavy sound, you know, takes a lot of power in the voice. So I commend her for that. Um, you know, the only thing I would say is, or a couple things really, you know, there's a couple spots, just just like one or two, because for the most part, the, the song flowed nicely, but there's a lot of kind of shifts throughout the whole song, whether it be like in through tempo or even just mood, you know, it, it, it'll be heavy one second and then it'll kind of switch to a different riff or or slow down a touch or something, you know, things like that. It just, you know, there, there's some definite uh, dynamics happening uh, throughout the song. And for the most part, all the transitions worked well. Um, but there's a couple spots where it felt like the transition, it, the, the flow of the song w was lost a little bit. It was a little disjointed. And then, you know, once... That, that next section is going, you know, uh, long enough, you, you kind of get back into the groove again. But there was definitely a couple spots where I kind of felt like the song lost its momentum or its flow, and I kind of had to readjust to, to kind of get back in, in the groove with it, but like literally like two spots. But the rest of the transitions, they, they were pretty seamless and, and, and it worked well. Um, and then the only other thing is, other than that, that main like heavy riff with that, that the symphonic elements going, you know, there there wasn't really too much of a hook to the song. Like that that to me is the most memorable aspect of the song. Um, but especially vocally, 
the, the melody is not too memorable. It's kind of just there, you know, on top of the song. And, and the whole rest of the song, it, it's, it's good, you know. But other than that main riff, it really needed something to kind of anchor it or to, to really, I, I guess, make it stand out even more. Because like I said, the music is sick and it's like your head banging and all that. But aside from that, you know, I, I really can't even recall too much how the melody of the vocals went, you know, where where did the, the chorus begin and end and, and the verb, like, I just feel like the vocal melody just needed to have a little something that, that was more memorable. And, and a song doesn't have to be catchy. Like, it doesn't have to be catchy to be good by any stretch of the imagination. Um, it helps, but, like, it, you don't need it. However, in this instance, I just feel like the, the vocal melody was just, it was just kind of there. Like, the, there wasn't anything super memorable about it. And like I said, it doesn't have to be catchy, but it, it just didn't really stand out. You know, um, like, her, her voice was good and all that stuff, but just as far as the melody goes, it, it kind of got lost in, in the noise, if you will. And, you know, it, it kind of took a back seat to the music and, and this was, song was definitely driven by the instruments, by the music, you know, not by the vocals. But I still would have liked something in there a little bit more memorable perhaps, maybe a little bit more of a diversity of, uh, in the range of the vocals or, you know, something like that. But again, she's got a really good voice. I just would like to hear a little bit more maybe personality, um, put into the vocal melody to, to, to make that stand out as well, you know, as with the music, because, yeah, you know, that, that's really my thoughts on that. But as a whole, really cool sound, you know, really, really just powerful sound. Uh, cool things at play here, you know, with the extreme heaviness. I really like that they didn't throw in harsh vocals, because even though the song is super heavy, you know, they, they did not go the harsh vocal route at, at any spot, and, you know, I always appreciate when a band just because the song's heavy doesn't mean you have to throw in harsh vocals you can but you don't have to so it was kind of cool that, that they went that route and yeah I mean just what a bombastic uh, track and you know I would go so far as to say you could almost just listen to this song instrumentally because the the vocals they 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 add a nice extra layer to the song but again the the melody just, yeah, it just didn't really have anything to really make it pop or, or stand out. You know, I was more just jamming to the music than anything. But so, yeah, I, I would like to see the, the vocal melody be given a little bit more love, you know, and, and attention. Just, yeah, just to really round out the, the whole package. But as it stands, I'm really, really impressed with the sound, quality stuff. And, yeah, I mean, I was headbanging my heart out. And, yeah, I dig it. I really, really dig their style. I'm going to have to listen to the EP, you know, off-channel and all that good stuff because I'm really curious what else they got on that bad boy. And, yeah, you know, I look forward to, to what they continue to, to make here because of this sound, I really think they got something here and very talented. And, yeah, that's that. So thank you so much to the band, Terminal Dusk for reaching out to me and asking me to check out this song. Definitely going to keep you folks on my radar from here on out because I dig it. And folks, let me know in the comments down below, what do you think of this song? You know, are you going to go listen to the EP now? Uh, yeah, you know, let's talk about it in the comments down below. And I'll catch you all next time, Ranger. Out.